Now, it couldn't come at a much worse spot. This is one of the most popular parts of any trail locally. It's about a one minute walk to downtown Loveland. And maybe even the bigger problem is when it closes. We love coming up here. It's not just a way for cyclists to get around. There's pedestrians and children learning to ride. For Loveland, the bike trail is more like a personality trait. It's a very busy part of the trail. It takes you all the way tomorrow to Lebanon. But now its character is changing from charismatic to closed off. The ODNR is replacing this key bridge. It'll be closed most of March and then again from May until October. The entire summer. I don't think it's going to make too many people happy. The timing is not what I would call the best. Yeah, that is very disappointing because uh, that is the riding season. Diane Hodges Batska is on the trail twice a week in warmer summer months. It just means we will be going to other parts of this wonderful trail that Ohio has. And that's the concern. This is the most heavily traveled part of the entire trail. It's about 150 meters from Loveland's downtown. If Loveland was a bike wheel. Bike trail is the hub. You know more about the trail's importance than David Kennedy. This is like Remember. the lifeblood of the town here. Though. Yes, yes, yes it is. Look how people open their doors right up to it. He's Loveland's city manager. He says ODNR's original plan was to do the fix in January, but got pushed to the summer. Local businesses like Narrow Path Brewing we're still optimistic. You're always tempted to think it's it's going to be a worst case scenario. Um, but I think for the most part, if you're committed to doing good work, people want to come and find you anyway. As one of the region's most heavily used trails braces to become the path less traveled. And now the new bridge is supposed to be nice. The rending shows it has an overlook. It's a symbol of offsite put together here. But despite all that, it's still going to take all summer to install. Now, here's why they have to do this. This is a part you don't see from up top. Looks pretty nice up there, but down here, it's kind of a mess. There are huge chunks of concrete out, uh, and all of this has to be taken out. That might take more time than it does to actually replace the bridge itself. Now, they told us that this was supposed to be done in January. Well, there were supply line issues, and that's why they couldn't get it done now, and it got pushed back to the summer. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News.